There is a 17 mile long accelerator that lies 300 feet beneath the surface of the ground. This area is where France and Switzerland come together. So part of this accelerator is located in France and part of it in Switzerland. A large portion of CERN is located in the territory of St. Genus Poli. In Roman times, it was called Apollyacum. The town and the temple were dedicated to Apollyon, the destroyer, Shiva, or Horus. The very city that, that CERN is sitting on is the ancient temple to the god Apollyon. Here we have, in CERN, Switzerland, a huge wheel. Inside that wheel is a Hindu god, and his name is Shiva. He does a dance of destruction inside that wheel, and his purpose is he is one of the triad gods, one of the greatest gods of Hinduism, Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma. Brahma is the god of creation. Vishnu is the god of preservation, but Shiva is the god of destruction. The way the Hindu sees it is that when Shiva destroys, it's not for the purpose of annihilation. He destroys so that Brahma can come and recreate. So now when the Hindu sends their scientist to CERN, they put this out there in front. And so what these people are doing with the collider is destroying what comes together, but for the purpose of recreating and find out what brought it into existence to begin with. Are you following me? Now here we have men that are scientists on an average of an IQ of anywhere from 160 to 200 or even above. These are some of the smartest brains in all the world. No, that, no question about it whatsoever. I pick up physicists and try to read some of this stuff. I think, good night. Forget me. That's for, a, that's for a brain that is wired that way. No question. They've got Shiva. They've got dances to Shiva. And they are definitely being connected with Shiva as they're finding things. Let me give you one example. In one of their collisions, when they collided these particles together, they saw things. They were apparitions. They didn't expect to see. They didn't fit in any model. They didn't fit anywhere. They don't belong, but they, they could not deny the reality of it. Something was going on inside there that they could not explain. And it was scary for them. For the scientist has his paper and his pencil and his books. And if it doesn't fit in his paper and his pencil and his books, it's out the window.